Right, tell you how there champs and welcome to the show. Now, Taipei Computex, Asus released like four new laptops and one I'm really interested in is the 15 inch Zenbook Pro. Is it the Dell XPS 15 killer? Well, I'll talk about that later. First, I'll just run through some of the other laptops they had there. So they had the Asus Zenbook Flip S, which is supposed to be the world's thinnest convertible. It's 10.9 millimeters thick, two millimeters thinner than the MacBook, 55% thinner than the MacBook Air, 1.1 kilos. That's 22% lighter than the MacBook Air. Of course, it's a two-in-one, so it's a convertible. Dual core Kaby Lake processors up to i7, 16 gigabytes RAM, 13.3 inch display, and you can get a 4K version, wow. 4K and a 13 inch, that's a bit overkill maybe. And it has a 39 watt hour battery. I don't know how good the 4K will be on battery, but I assume there will be a 1080p version and all that for 1099. The next one they had was the Zenbook 3 Pro Deluxe, which is a 14 inch laptop. This is actually very good. And if you don't know anything about Asus laptops, they have really good finish in their Zenbook, fit and finish, and they really look expensive. They're really well done, classy, like high grade industrial design. And these ones have gone to another level there. So, so this Zenbook 3 Deluxe is a 14 inch laptop in the size of a 13 inch laptop. They call it the world's most prestigious laptop. I don't know what that means, but it is the world's thinnest 14 inch laptop. Well, there's not that many 14 inch laptops, but it is 12.9 millimeters thin, 1.1 kilo. So that's pretty good. Gorilla Glass 5, it didn't mention if it had a 4K, so I assume it comes with a 1080p display. Latest dual core Kaby Lake processors up to 16 gigs RAM and it has two Thunderbolt 3s so you can connect it to the XG workstation or external graphics 46 watt hour battery so this thing looks gorgeous 14 inch it's really good for a road warrior that needs a bit of real estate it's going to have enough power and stuff and it looks fantastic like really expensive and nice and the Zenbook 3 starts at 11.99 now the one I'm interested in is the Zenbook Pro 15 inch now this compares to the MacBook Pro 15 inch or the XPS 15 starts at 12.99 and I was really excited about this product it's going through the specs and I was going tick 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 but then it sort of let me down so like my solid state drive turned into a floppy disk and as I was going through all these things and going yes, yes, I literally had a rage in solid state and it just went floppy very quickly. And it has a lot of great things like of course the Kaby Lake processors, quad core, fantastic. GTX 1050 Ti, awesome, 25% faster than GTX 1050. 4K screen, tick. It's not 100% Adobe RGB, but most people output to sRGB, so that's not too bad, I guess. One terabyte SSD up to two Thunderbolt 3 ports, which is pretty good. It also has USB ports. It's 1.8 kilos, so that's four pounds, so that's very light for a 15 inch laptop with a GTX 1050 Ti in it. And it's 18.9 millimeters thin. So, you know, it's a little bit thicker than the XPS 15. Really, I'm not worried about thinness, lightness. These are sort of like for people that want to run professional applications like Premiere Pro, you know, your heavy duty Photoshop and yeah, it can game too. So all those things were fantastic. And then it just let me down was, yes, it has a 4K screen, but it has a 73 watt hour battery. And it says 14 hours battery. I can't see how you're gonna get more than five hours battery with a 73 watt hour battery in a 4K display, unless it's some super ultra low powered display. I can't see it. And then micro SD, what? You might as well have just left it off. Micro SD, that's useless. And then the main kicker for me was the 16 gigabytes of RAM. That's the main disappointment for me is the 16 gigabytes of RAM. This could potentially be the XPS 15 killer there with all this 1050 Ti, premium design, you know, 4K screen, but the battery, it's so small. 16 gigs max RAM in 2017. I think they've just chose to copy the MacBook Pro because they seem to compare their stuff to, to Macs a lot. So I guess they thought, well, the Apple had 16 gigs RAM for the MacBook Pro, it must be all right. No, 16 gigs ain't gonna cut it for me. So I wanna look at it, I definitely wanna review it. It looks fantastic in every single way, but for me personally, that 16 gigs RAM is, yeah, it's not gonna cut it. 
Then they had something very interesting too, is the ASUS VivoBook S. Now that starts at 499, has a GeForce 940MX, has an i7, they didn't say it was Kaby Lake, so I guess it's Skylake, up to 16 gigs RAM. Now this is 499, you're not gonna complain, okay? That is fantastic. It looks really premium, and it's actually very light too. It's at like 17.9 millimeters, 1.5 kilos. One person I recommended the XPS 15. They do a lot of Illustrator, Photoshop, and stuff like that. They maybe could have got away with this laptop here. They don't need a GTX 1050. A GTX 940 would have been plenty enough for them. One or two gigs, that would have been fine. i7, 16 gigs, that would have been perfect for 499. Oh, they ended up getting the XPS 15, so they got a much better computer there but they paid a lot more for it too so they would have got away with getting that and it would have been lighter than the xps 15 too so yeah that is a really great 15 inch laptop there and that has ports that is full size sd has you know usb 3 port and stuff like that so it's fantastic then they had the vivo book pro now this thing here starts at 7.99 has optane so that means you can have a hard drive and supercharge it with Optane. That's fantastic. This is one of the first laptops I've seen with Optane introduced. It's 19.2 millimeters and 2.2 kilos, but it has a GTX 1050. So this thing is awesome too. Still it has that maximum 16 gigabytes of RAM. It has a 4K screen, 100% sRGB as well. So that Vivo book ticks a lot of things there. And starting at 799, premium aluminum design is thin and it's light. All right, it's not as premium as the ZenBook 3 or the XPS 15, but it's around the same weight. It's a little bit thicker. And if 16 gigabytes is good enough for you, you can really get a cracking laptop for $799 or starting at $799. That really looks good. 15 inch laptop powerhouse there. Yeah, I'm really with the VivoBook Pro. I think that's their best one there because of just its price point and the power you're getting. And it's not that much thicker or heavier than say the ZenBook or the XPS 15. And it looks pretty premium. All right, it's got those bigger bezels. If you can live with that, I think that's the pick of the bunch. So there you have it. That's all Asus's new product range, new laptops. Some of them look fantastic. I like the 14 inch ZenBook Pro 3 Deluxe. I like the VivoBook Pro. That looks fantastic. And the ZenBook Pro, you were so close. You were so close. All you needed was 32 gigs RAM and a full-size SD card slot and a bit more battery and you would have been the XPS 15 killer, but sorry, you fell short there. Anyway, I hope to review it soon. And I'm really interested in that VivoBook Pro. That looks like a killer product for a killer price. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you're new around here, why not subscribe? Give me a thumbs up if this video is helpful. I've got lots more tech content coming soon. And until next time, guys, tally ho.